In this video, I want to look at a basic probability tree diagram problem. Um, what we have are two tests, A and B. We're told that the probability of passing test A is 0.7, the probability of passing test B is 0.4, and students must pass both tests to earn a qualification. And the probability of passing test A is independent of passing test B. So those, the probability of passing those two tests do not affect one another. Find the probability of a student passing just one of the two tests. OK, so they're first of all going to sit test A, which they are either going to pass or, well, fail. I won't put don't pass, I'll put fail. OK, so they either pass or fail test A. OK, so the probability of passing is 0 0.7, and the probability of failure is therefore 0 0.3, because these two have had, got to add up to 1. So then they've got to sit test B. OK, so they either pass or fail test B. Now, because uh, the two events are independent of one another, uh, the probability of passing test B is 0 0.4 regardless of whether they have passed or failed test A. OK? So that means the probability of failure in both cases will be 0 0.6, because those two probabilities have got to add up to 1 in either case. So if we're looking to find the probability of a student passing just one of the two tests, they either passed the first test and then failed the second one, or they failed the first test and then passed the second one. OK, so you're looking for the possible routes through from the left hand side to the right hand side. And what you want to do is multiply along the branches. OK, this is where that idea of independence is coming from, allowing you to multiply the probabilities together in order to find the probability of the pass and the fail, that intersection. So pass and then fail would be 0 0.7 times by 0 0.6, which is 0 0.42. Then we've got 0 0.3 times by 0 0.4, which is 0 0.12. So we either want pass then fail, or fail then pass. And those two probabilities, because it is an or, we add them together. OK, so 0 0.42 plus 0 0.12 would get us to 0 0.54. And that is the probability of a student passing just one of the two tests.